how to get a wheel that decides what you need to do or who wins on your stream. But before I'm gonna explain how you can set this up, I wanna thank our sponsor Own.pro. With Own.pro, you can get your own overlays, make your stream look fantastic with having your own style and looking super professional with it. I'm saying your own style because you can choose out of so many overlays. And if you're the type that likes to switch things around, you can switch them around as much as you like. And you know what the coolest thing about this is? With code TREE, you will get 50% off on a year subscription. Link is down below in the description. We go to wheelofnames.com and here we see this wheel. And in this wheel, we can basically put people that can win a prize like I have here. You can have exercises that you need to do for every sub or every donation or for every donation to charity or games you need to play, characters you need to play or something like that. Anything you want that you can put on a wheel and spin it for. So back to wheelofname.com, we just put in some names here or we put in some things that you can win or anything like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to customize. Okay, here we can have a ticking sound and we can basically change the sound the wheel makes when it turns. The volume it turns on. Display duplicate. So if you have somebody with multiple tickets basically and they're in here twice like Micha is here, it displays it twice. If I untick this, Micha will only be in here once. So if you don't want people to have multiple tickets, you can untick this. You can also make a spin slower and show the titles. Spin time, you can say, oh, it needs to spin for 60 seconds or 10 seconds. This is just short and to the point. Max number of names visible on the wheel. So basically how small can these pieces of pie become? Then we have after spin. So when the spin is done, we hear a loud applause. We can also pick anything else and the volume of that applause. Animated winning entry. If I click on here and I will show you. The name basically became bigger and filled the screen and this is the animation they're talking about. And launch confetti is a confetti you saw. Auto remove winner after 5 seconds, so it basically removes the winner out of the list. Display pop up with a message, basically this says we've got a winner in Dutch. We got a winner. You can also change this to whatever you want and display the remove button. I would just keep the remove button on. Play a click sound when the winner is removed. Mm, you don't need that. I would leave this off because you know that's just clutter for when you click on things. And then appearance here. We can apply a team with different colors. We can even make it a cookie. <laughs> but if you just want the normal wheel, you can set the colors of the wheel here. You can even add more colors if you want to. So if you have an overlay pack and you want these colors to represent your overlay, you can basically click on here and you can copy the hex code and put it in here and have your wheel look like the overlay you got from Pro, for example. You can also have the center bit be a color. We can have an image at the center of the wheel. So here there is a circle. You can have your head in that if you want to. <laughs> image size, you can have it smaller or bigger. And here we have background color. So we can set a color we want. Let's say this green and we copy this green while we're doing it. If you click on OK, this becomes the screen. Now we have a problem though. There's already green in here. So I'm going to remove the green out of here. So there's no other green in it. So now if we add this to OBS, we can remove the background because it is bright green. We can chroma key it out just like a green screen. If you want lines in between here, you can get this contours on and you'll have stripes in it. We can click on full screen to actually have this be full screen and have all the things around it be gone. So we actually want to do this all in OBS. So I'm going to show you how to do that. This is OBS. I'm recording my own screen. And what we do is plus and then browse the source. And browse the source. Yes. Wheel. Okay. Now we paste it in here and make it 1920 by 1080. I'm sorry for this picture. It's blocking things. I know because that's just the other thing in OBS. Then if we scroll down, we want to control audio via OBS and click on OK. It fills my screen so you guys can't see anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it smaller for you. So now it's small. <laughs> you can see what I'm actually doing. So here, if we right click on the wheel, we can click on interact. We see a new wheel pops up. So here we can just go back to customization and we can go back to the appearance. I remove the green and put the green screen color here again. It doesn't really matter which color as long as it's far enough from the outside and we're just making it full screen again. Now we can just close this and we're right clicking on filters. We're adding a filter is just called chroma keyer right here. Okay, and then we click on custom color and select a color and we paste the code in here. Okay, 
Now, as you see, the wheel is transparent now. There's nothing in the back, only the thing on the top. But we can hold Alt and drag this down, and now we don't see it, and the same for the side. And now it's basically just a wheel. Okay, so how do we actually trigger it? But Because I can click on it and it doesn't do anything. We just go here and we right click and go to interact. And now if you click on it, it will start going. Okay, so Ali won. We can close this again and make it not full screen to change these names again. So make sure that if you want to change things, you need to right click and interact in the browser source. It uh, could be that like ads pop up like this, but in the full screen mode, they don't seem to be popping up. So if you go to interact and go to full screen, all the ads seem to be gone. So that's solved. Another thing you want to be careful of is that the real decide if you regulate them in OBS, you might not hear them yourself. So right click advanced audio properties and then hear wheel, put that on monitor and output. Now you and the stream can hear the wheel. If you also record the desktop audio with your headphones, what you can do is send it to monitor only because then only you hear it, but because you record the things that you hear, the stream still hears it. So that depends on how you set up your audio. If you need to set it on monitor only or monitor and output. I think this wheel is a cool tool to add to your stream, but here are 15 cool extensions that can boost your views on Twitch. So go there and I'll tell you more about them. See there?